Welcome, American truckers. Welcome to Trucking with Old Snapper. And of course, I'm your host, Old Snapper, or the voice of it at least. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Do everything here trucking related. Tonight, we got some trucking news, not good news either. Um, this was a really hard story to read uh, because of the age of one of the victims. I'm going to put it down in the uh, description, a couple links. So if you want to go read the full story, you can yourself. But I'm going to give you the rundown here. A family of, flo a family of four, including an eight-month-old baby girl, were found dead in an almond orchard in California on Wednesday. The family was kidnapped at gunpoint from their trucking their trucking business in Merced, California. Merced County uh, Sheriff's Office Vern Wink or Wark Warnky, not sure how to pronounce his last name, but it's the sheriff there. Said a farm worker found the bodies in an almond orchard Wednesday about 5:30 p.m. The victims operated Unison Trucking of Merced. Uh, it's a nationwide carrier with 13 trucks. Um, I'm going to put a picture of them up right in through here. This is not going to be a long video today. Uh, this this uh, this situation here just kind of kind of pissed me off. You know, I, I, it's just crazy that what the world's come to. Jesus Salgado, 48, has been arrested. He tried to kill himself before law enforcement arrived and is a local hospital in critical condition. Um, he is expected to survive. They've kept him sedated every time they've tried to bring him out. As soon as he gets anywhere near uh, waking up, he becomes violent, is what uh, the sheriff's department released. Starts thrashing around or whatever. Um, this is crazy, man. He uh, went to their place of business. Uh, he was a former employee. He went to their place of business uh, with a trash bag. He there, There's video surveillance of it. He pulls a gun out. Takes the, uh, the father of the baby girl, the mother, the baby girl, and the grandfather. Ties them up. Takes them out to a almond orchard. And kills them all. Killed all four of them. Um, this is just nuts. Surveillance is part of what got him caught. He also um, told told someone that he was involved in it. According to the report from the sheriff's department that uh, they released. And that's what initially took the sheriff's department to him. Was the fact that he had said something to somebody. And they reported it. Man, this is just nuts. Just absolutely nuts. I can't... I ain't got no words, man. No words at all. You, you know, I've, I've, I've had problems with trucking companies where, you know, you get angry and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, you'll park their truck and drag up on them and go to work somewhere else and all that. But to harm a woman or to harm an eight-month-old child, yeah, it's just a little bit... That's a little bit far out there. Uh, not only that, but what are you achieving? You're not really achieving anything. You know, now he'll, you know, most likely either spend the rest of his life in prison or be uh, on death row. I'm not sure what California laws are, are like for that. But uh, that's the situation. A family of four who owned uh, Unison Trucking of Merced. California have been found dead in an almond orchard and uh, one man is in jail uh, 48 years old or he's in the hospital he'll be in jail eventually and he, at 48 years old hope all of you out there are having a great night hope y'all are staying safe staying out of trouble being good to one another and like I always say remember we are all family even if we are a little bit dysfunctional I appreciate each and every one of y'all that stopped by here and check this out like I said, this wasn't going to be a long one. Uh, i got to clean up my truck and do a couple of other things. I'm working on some 
editing some drone footage and I'm going to be doing some drone footage editing from a 4th of July summit as well as from uh, Florida Aileen, Idaho. Anyway, y'all take care, stay safe, keep trucking.